Hallo meine lieben Freunde, willkommen zurück zu The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Der gute Irving hat uns heute am dritten Tag gesagt, dass der Strom beschädigt ist. Wir müssen erstmal ins Personalbereich. Da gibt es wohl eine Lichtquelle, die wir benutzen können. Und das wissen wir auch, denn wir haben schon eine Taschenlampe da gefunden. Ja, und man merkt das. Was war das gerade? Ich finde schön, wie... Äh, wirklich so ein bisschen Stromausfall ist. Also man hat auf jeden Fall nicht viel Licht, aber irgendwie irgendwie schon. Oder oh, es ist noch um... Oh Gott. Gott! Okay, nur das gefällt mir halt gar nicht. Oh Gott, ich sehe halt wirklich nichts. Vielleicht sollte ich mal ein bisschen lauter machen, weil es jetzt gleich irgendwas passiert. Das ist wirklich creepy. Das ist tatsächlich ein bisschen creepy. Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. Das habe ich ganz vergessen. The crawl space? I totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No. But I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Oh, das ist die Taschenlampe. Oh, yes. Ich wollte gerade schon sagen, es wird unfassbar dunkel. Oh Gott, hier ist auch noch Dynamo betrieben. Jetzt muss ich dich selber hier... Das gefällt mir gar nicht. Äh, Taschenlampe? Ah, Taschenlampe. Oh, oh, oh. Ich, ich konnte gerade die Taschenlampe nicht mehr machen. Ich würde ja unfassbar gerne auf die Map gucken, um zu wissen, wo ich hin will, aber ich kann nicht auf die Map gucken. Ah, okay. Irving hat gesagt, dass ich die Zwischendecke im ersten Stock benutzen muss. Die Zwischen... Ah! I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to... Push the lever continuously. Also, ja, was dann bitte nicht, wenn man eine dynamo okay. benutzt. Ja, ich erinnere mich nicht, dass es so eng war, aber Platzangst habe ich nicht. I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <lacht> It's called growing up, um. idiot. Alles klar, Irving. Vielleicht bin ich auch einfach fett geworden. Ah ja. Gott, das gefällt mir alles überhaupt nicht. Das gefällt mir überhaupt nicht. Ich gehe mal davon aus, ich muss dem Kabel folgen. Shit. What's wrong? Ich tapp im Dunkeln. I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Winston. Okay, stay calm. Can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Yep. Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Das habe ich mir gedacht. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Easy. Does it. 
Okay, wenn der Irvine sagt, er weiß, wo du sonst wo endest, dann gucke ich mal, wo ich sonst wo ende. Hier zum Beispiel. Ah, jetzt bin ich hier in der zweiten Etage. Hier waren wir schon mal. Tatsache. Ähm. Ähm. Okay, und das Spiel ist abgestürzt. <lacht> ähm, schön. So, da bin ich wieder, Leute. Das Spiel ist abgestürzt. <lacht> Oh, das passiert natürlich auch wieder nur mir. Weißt du, der Irving sagt mir, folge den Kabeln. Weil wenn du es nicht tust, wer weiß, wo du rauskommst. Jetzt weiß ich's. Das Spiel stürzt ab, wenn ich es nicht mache. Danke, Spiel. So, dann folgen wir jetzt einfach mal den Kabeln und wir machen nichts anderes. Gut, danke schön, Spiel. Da liegt ein Arm. Das finde ich toll. Wir folgen den Kabeln. Wir machen nichts anderes. Weil, sonst denkt sich das Spiel wieder. Nee. Mit meiner Dynamo-Taschen haben wir hier. Achso, das ist das Gitter da unten. Okay. Okay, am Schalter kann ich nichts machen. So, hoffentlich nicht abstürzen. Nicht abstürzen, Spiel. Lass mich da jetzt durch. Ich warte jetzt sogar noch ein bisschen ab. Gehe nicht direkt durch. Vielleicht war auch das der Fehler. Dass ich einfach zu schnell durchgegangen bin. Dass das Spiel nicht mehr klargekommen ist. So. Eine Wasserwaage. Von Biestler. Schön. Ach, jetzt sind wir wieder hier. Ich weiß, wo wir sind. Und. Easy. Ein Lippenstift. Red Doll. Uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. Was ist eine Erklärung dafür? Doesn't that seem weird? It's a lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving. This brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Sei nicht albern, Irving. Du weißt genau, was das bedeutet. Cut the crap. A lipstick here is totally out of place. Nicole. It's just another one of those things customers Im Generatorraum. Uh, I well yeah. You're probably right. Vermutlich hast du nicht recht. Aber gut. Ich habe keine Checkliste mehr. Oh, ach jetzt geht die Tür auf. Das war schon Tag 3? Ja gut, Leute, dann war's das. Nein, Spaß. <lacht> okay, das, das war ein kurzer Tag. Weg mich am Arsch. Das war aber ein sehr kurzer Tag. Kommen wir zu Tag 4. Machen wir so. <lacht> Reporting is ordered, Sir. You awake? Sort of. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Oh, ich sehe schon, wir machen jetzt hier Detektivarbeit. Wo fangen wir an? 
Fangen wir bei ihrem Dad an. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das glauben soll. I really don't know what to think. It's just that. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Ich möchte meinem Instinkt folgen. Oh, verstehst du? I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Alles klar. Reden wir erstmal über die Sachen auf dem Schreibtisch. Ah. Okay, reden wir erstmal über Reverend Foster. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Ich bin kein Fan von Pfarrer. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter. Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Ja, ich glaube auch nicht, dass es seiner Tochter was angetan hat. Ach ja, das war das hier mit uh, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Uh, reden wir weiter. Lippenstift. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... Nope. From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? Ja. Das Buch von Leonard. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or... Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Das ist ja noch gruseliger, wenn, da, wenn man bedenkt, dass das Buch acht Jahre nach ihrem Tod gemacht worden ist. Holy fuck. Okay. It shook the entire building's heart. The but our principal told us today it felt like a huge ray heavy on our souls. We're a tight knit community and after this tragedy hit, everyone was struck pretty hard. We just want everyone to know 
that you are not alone and you can always find a family in the Helena High Hills. Alles klar. Corona confirms she was nine weeks pregnant. Sheriff McDonald, it's suicide. We have her last words. Und das Kleingedruckte kann ich leider nicht lesen dafür. Das sind meine Augen zu schlecht. The strangest gossip of the month, after 10 years, Glenda Ferguson, I saw Rachel in the Timberline Hotel. The 29 years old girl from Great Falls claimed she saw Rachel Foster, her schoolmate suicidal in 1981, in a corridor at the first floor of the Timberline Hotel. But she ran away without saying nothing. Glenda revealed to the Daily Reporters and that she tried to approach her, but she ran away. She also added, I don't know how it's possible, but it was definitely Rachel. This is just the last episode of the most famous love and death story in the country, uh, county. Rachel committed suicide after her affair with Leonard McGrath, 30 years old, uh, older than the teenager, Ach, du 30 Jahre oh my God, was exposed to the public. We tried to speak with Rachel's father, Shepard Foster, but he refused. Someone says that the young girl is still alive. Creepy. Keep follow our monthly update to find out more about the story and more. Alles klar. Und Schulkameraden haben Rachel auch viele Jahre danach wieder gesehen. Ist Rachel wirklich tot, wie es da oben steht? Ich wage es... Huch, ich habe irgendwo hingetreten. Ich wage es langsam zu bezweifeln. Geschichte über eine, von einer Freundin. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? A, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Ähm, um, uh, ja, da hat er schon ein bisschen recht. Ah, uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Ich meine, ähm, Josh hat sich in Until Dawn auch mit einer Säge zerfetzt und war am Leben. Ich würde das nicht abwegig finden. Aber ja, er hat irgendwo schon recht. Artikel über den Abschiedsbrief. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. Ach, da steht das. We have her last words. Ich kann es leider echt nicht lesen. Entweder müsste ich mich näher an den Bildschirm setzen. Oder ich müsste vielleicht meine Brille aufziehen, die ich gerade hier habe. <lacht> Scheiße. Ich hoffe, ihr könnt es lesen. Ihr könnt ja pausieren oder so. So, eins haben wir noch. Und zwar... I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah. That was the official version. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Bis ich weiß, was genau passiert ist. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But... Sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Ja, da hat der Irving recht. Ich glaube, das wäre besser. Wir haben uns jetzt lange genug um den... Ah! Tag 5. Is she really dead? 
Das ist die große Frage, Leute. Wir sind anscheinend nicht alleine in dem Hotel. Ist es Rachel? Es deutet vieles drauf hin. What the fuck? Ist das ein Traum? Hey, Cutie Pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. Where did you go? I missed you so, so much. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you too. Say it again, please. Rachel, 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 Rachel. What the fuck? Alles klar. Ein weiterer Tag, der mit Boden beginnt. Geil. Stehe ich drauf. Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake and a frothy cappuccino. Das klingt mega geil. <lacht> so Korrekt. Sehr scharfsinnig, mein Freund. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something um, some tapes that were found in the main office in truth i shouldn't even have taken them oh <laughs> so what'd you find billy the kid well I, i don't think it's anything useful uh wait wait where did i put them what the pliers so i can pry the words out of your mouth oh sure okay okay it's um it's vhs of the behind the scenes of a tv broadcast But it's it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me. Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, uh, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? <laughs> I'm not sure, but. Uh, Uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. Deutsche Kopfhörer sind immer besser. We are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's 
uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looks like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you're freaking me Holy out. shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, Dad, I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Fuck. Oh, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. Was ist am Ende passiert? What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to see it. It's uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Dann wissen wir, was als nächstes zu tun ist. Auf dem anderen Weg äh, der Geisterjäger Zimmer 117, da würde ich mich mal gerne umsehen. Aber Leute, ich weiß, der Part ist vielleicht ein bisschen kürzer als die anderen. Das liegt aber einfach daran, das Spiel ist relativ kurz. Und auch wenn sich das noch nicht so anfühlt, aber wir kommen schon langsam gegen Ende. Ob ich es mir glaubt oder nicht. Deshalb würde ich sagen, ich mache die Parts auch ein bisschen kürzer, damit ihr einfach ein bisschen mehr von dem Projekt habt. Und ich will halt auch ein bisschen mehr von dem Projekt haben. Und dann würde ich sagen, wir sehen uns im nächsten Part wieder, wenn wir in Zimmer 117 gehen. Würde mich sehr freuen. Und ich sage bis dahin. Tschüss.